Hey my friend, if you clicked on this video, chances are that you are struggling to learn Houdini and even you feeling like you want to quit. And I'm here to tell you why you shouldn't absolutely give up. I'm going to share some tips and tricks on how to learn Houdini and actually have fun with it. And I'm going to divide this into three steps. First, we're going to tackle why people quit Houdini, how to actually stick with it and at the very end my personal experience with this software. Now I'm not gonna go over how good Houdini is because if you are here you already know uh, how of a great technical software it is for I don't know procedural modeling, creating tools, uh, creating massive detailed environments, creating all sorts of fluid simulations so it's worth learning. Instead, let's talk about the real reason why people actually quit learning Houdini. And if you know why, then you can prevent it. Now, the main reason is that Houdini doesn't give you satisfying result right off the bat. For example, with learning Blender or Maya, you will get some sort of output or result and it's gonna be fast. But Houdini requires you to tackle lots of challenges upfront. For example, with something easy as creating a box, you have to know like different geometry levels. You have to know the universe that the boxes exist. Uh, whereas the, in, for example, in Blender, when you open up the software, the box is there. Now that complexity is actually a really, really good thing in the long run. It will give you more customization and more power, but it's also why people give up at first. All right, so how can we fight back? My suggestion is that try to focus on learning one specific thing at a time. Look, Houdini is massive. Nobody knows everything about it. If you want to try to learn like everything in Houdini, you will feel overwhelmed. Instead, pick one effect, one project. For example, create a honey simulation and that's it. We don't need to know everything about liquid simulations. We just need to know how to create a viscous liquid that looks like honey. By narrowing it down to a small tangible goals, you will get to satisfying results more quickly. It will feed that part of your brain that loves to see progress. And eventually, you will be motivated to keep going. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that it's gonna be always fun. With Houdini, you have to accept the fact that you will have everyday challenges. In order to take a step small or big, you will have to research, check uh, tutorials, check forums, maybe mixture of these, in order to get a result. I mean, I've been working with Houdini for like three or four years now, and it's still in order to create some effect, I would need to check some tutorials or forums. It's either effect that I've created before and I don't remember how it's done now, or it's something that I've never worked on because I didn't have to. So with the starting to work with Houdini, you are committing to a long-term problem-solving role. And thanks to everyday growing community, I don't think you would fail in solving those problems, at least for uh, simple projects. So start small and have patience and trust me, you will conquer the impossible learning curve of Houdini. And to give you your first push, I'm going to create an absolutely beginner Houdini tutorial on how to create a honey simulation, which is really dear to me. I'm gonna tell you why in the next topic. And I'm gonna put the link in the description when it's out. So I'll be honest with you, I did quit Houdini at first. I was working with Cinema 4D when I started and I tilted Houdini like Cinema 4D. So I was going over these two, three hours of tutorials teaching you everything about Houdini. And I tried, I tried so hard. I was taking notes, categorizing them. Even I tried to memorize all the nodes names. So after some time I stopped. I was like, Houdini isn't for me. It's too much. I cannot handle it. So I stopped. And then a year passed and throughout this year, I always had this idea in my mind that Houdini is that scary software that I never learned. And eventually I would meet people who knew Houdini and I was like, there are some geniuses, they are not human. But then something happened. I got a project which was a honey simulation. So uh, this honey simulation is actually my first ever Houdini project. At the time I thought, okay, I cannot do this in Cinema 4D and this is exactly what Houdini is good at. So I reinstalled Houdini and I opened it up, but this time things were different. Because I had a deadline and I had to finish this project on time, I didn't watch like a four hour introduction to Houdini. I didn't care. I just wanted to create honey. 
And then I did it. When I got the honey to work, I was like so satisfied. I was like, this is so much fun. And then I said, okay, so if I can do honey, maybe I can do a chocolate, maybe I can do a cookie, maybe I can create some gummy bears falling. And that's how exactly I learned Houdini, with not learning everything, but doing small specific projects. Now, I would love to hear your story. Please share your experience on learning Houdini in the comments. And if you think this video was useful, please give it a thumbs up so others can also find it. And please subscribe for our almost every week Houdini tutorials, which are for all level of Houdini users. See you in the next one.